Section 3, Health Assessment and Diagnosis. NPs incorporate evidence-based knowledge with advanced assessment skills to obtain information necessary to identify client diagnosis. They perform health assessments for a variety of reasons. These include determining a client's overall health status, evaluating a client's response to treatment, and making a new diagnosis. NPs use information from multiple sources to inform their client assessment. These may include a client health history, physical exam, chart review, assessment findings from other health professionals, results of relevant tests or procedures, and, with client consent, information from family, friends, or other caregivers. NPs use their knowledge, skill, and judgment to assess the needs of a particular client. This includes whether a comprehensive or focused assessment is required. They adapt their assessment techniques and tools to fit each client's needs. NPs look for and identify urgent, emergent, and life-threatening situations when assessing clients. The following scenario shows how NPs can apply these principles to their practice. Two clients arrive at a clinic. Both have fractured arms. One client is a 25-year-old woman who fractured her arm in a skateboarding accident. The other client is an 88-year-old man who fractured his arm in a fall and has a history of frequent falls. What kind of assessment would you give each client? The 25-year-old client would generally require a focused assessment, provided no other risk factors are identified during the client interaction. The 88-year-old client will likely require a more comprehensive assessment. NPs are engaged in the diagnostic process. They develop differential diagnoses through identification, analysis, and interpretation of findings from a variety of sources. Before communicating a new diagnosis to a client, NPs rule out the various differential diagnoses that are relevant to the client's clinical presentation. Once determined, NPs communicate to the client the diagnosis, all relevant clinical information, treatment plans, and expected outcomes and prognoses. It is essential for the NP to verify that the client understands this information. This provides clients with the information needed to make informed choices about their plan of care. When ordering tests, NPs are accountable for a number of things. They must make sure that there is a reliable process in place for a qualified professional to review test results in a timely manner and provide the appropriate follow-up care. In most cases, the NP who orders the test will be the one to review the result. However, in some practice settings, the NP who orders the test may not be the professional who follows up. Sometimes, clients may not follow through on tests the NP orders. NPs are accountable for ensuring that clients have the necessary information to make informed decisions about tests. When possible, NPs should follow up to explore the client's reasons for not taking the test. The following scenario demonstrates the accountabilities of NPs when ordering tests. Marion, an NP, provides care to residents in a long-term care home. Marion is going on vacation tomorrow. She has ordered a chest x-ray for a client, but will not receive the results before she leaves. What should Marion do? Marion arranges with her colleague Tim, who is also an NP, that he will cover her while she is away. They've both worked with their employer to establish a clear process for transfer of accountability during vacations. The process includes a log of tests ordered for all residents. With this process in place, Marion feels comfortable ordering the x-ray because she knows Tim will review the results and follow up appropriately. This concludes Section 3.